guys welcome back to latoria disaster decor so today i am doing a entry doorway budget friendly idea which is behind me here i love how this turned out i love all the mistakes and the lessons that i learned from this um but before i go into this i do want to welcome all that are new thank you and i want to welcome those who are returning thanks for coming back but if you are new here i would love to have you part of this channel i do upload frequently but i have been in and out inconsistent with this because there's just been a lot going on but you can also catch me on instagram at latoria designs and decor we can catch a lot in all of my behind the scenes on every project that i'm doing so if you don't catch me here make sure you follow me there and check out everything there as well um guys but yes i do a lot of home decor ideas home organization furniture flips uh thrift finds all that good stuff here um so now that we got that out the way guys this budget friendly project probably cost me $35 um, and what got me started with this is because my children just kept throwing their book bags, their jackets, their shoes, like just over the banister, not their shoes, but like their jackets and book bags over the end of my banister and it would just drive me insane. I don't know who else can relate to that, but I had to come up with something fast and I'm glad I did. Um, of course, I got on Pinterest and started looking to see like some ideas or whatnot um, of what I wanted to do. And I figured out my own template. I had to play around with the uh, frog tape for a while, but I finally came up, of course, with this one. And I'm glad I did. Um, I have three kids, so this is more than enough space um, for them to hang up their book bags and their jacket, even an umbrella if needed. And I also provided a rack at the bottom for them to just put their shoes there as soon as they come into the door. Um, but this project was under $40. The hooks were like $10 for Amazon. And then um, the wood itself was probably like $25. And I probably didn't have to spend that much because I just bought more. Because you know, you never know. Um, I did have mistakes, so I'm glad I did buy extra wood. You don't know if you're cutting too much or small. Um, and you can measure it, but sometimes it's just mistakes and things like that just happen. So um, enough of me rambling. Let's jump into this good old DIY. <laughs>
had to putty these so that you know of course the holes wouldn't show and then I'm going to sand it down and then it's going to be time to paint and I'm going to be so happy about that but I'm letting the wood filler um, dry up and then I'm going to sand this all down so I'm going to caulk the um, you know the gaps between here so everything just looks seamless going down and around um, through the gaps and then I'm going to prime I'm so excited um, but yeah I got this from the Dollar Tree um, you can get it from Home Depot but Dollar Tree sells caulk as well it's for tubs sinks windows trims and more so only a dollar and it's odorless it's for interior exterior and paintable so works out this here but um, I'm going to prime it with this and then I'm going to paint it this back color in the back um, I use wood filler for these Mama. right here yes okay put in the sink yes I use the wood filler here um, so that you're not able to see the um, screws but I use a counter sink drill bit so that it's, it's easy for this um, wood filler to just fill in and I can just keep um, keep sanding it down so that it's smooth so when I paint it you won't be able to see anything so that's the good thing about that but this is a primer I'm going to use first over this but I've made some mistakes I learned some um, new lessons so it's actually good and I love doing these projects because I'm always learning something new and I can teach myself and others. So I hope you guys are enjoying this process. <laughs> Hey guys, so this is the last and final day. Um, this is like the fourth day, not including the weekend. Um, I am done with the paint. I love how it looks. Um, I'm not an expert, but I did my best and I think I did a good job. I hope you guys enjoy this. The last thing I have to do is, I did go over like touch up a little, um, a few little um, spaces, but I have to do the hooks now. And I'm going to place the hooks here. And after that, I am done, guys. Um, this project was very challenging, but I really enjoy every lesson um, for the next time. So, guys, I hope you enjoy this. And I will catch you guys the next time. Bye.